What is up YouTube and welcome back to another amazing episode of Pet Battle PvP. Today's team is going to be featuring an Alpine Foxling, a Blaze Hound, and a Sanctum Cub. This is actually a super fun core that utilizes Dazzling Dance. I've used this in a couple teams recently, or more notably with a uh, Will Ragnaros and a couple other Power Power Variety pets, but I really think that this team uh, can really really benefit from this because we're again we're using two Power Power Variety pets in the Blaze Hound and the Sanctum Cub. But what we're trying to do is set the Dazzling Dance to enable our relatively slower pets to be able to go for dodges using moves like Puppies of the Flame and just Dodge from the Sanctum Cub. So it's giving us the speed control to then go for those dodges to make sure that those dodges can last for the two whole turns. Uh, we also have really cool moves like Retrieve and then additional forms of speed control on the Sanctum Cub uh, in Leap as well to be able to, you know, just regain speed control if the Dazzling Dance is, uh, you know not effective. I also really just think the Alpine Voxling, I know this is a pet that used to be really popular. This whole mechanic of Dazzling Dance just used to be a really, really popular team comp back in the day. And uh, I still think this pet is like really, really good. You can go for early crouches and mitigate damage. Uh, you have that speed control. And again, you have the beast racial, which means you're going to be able to do 25% additional damage under half health. So all you really got to do is cower till you get around half. And then from there, just go for massive flurries. You can actually trade usually. If you can trade with their first pet with this thing, uh, and then just pop a Dazzling Dance before you go down. That game will be so free because you have two pets that have massive dodges in the back that still are, again, power, power variety pets, which means they deal really, really big damage. So if you guys like teams like this, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But other than that, let's get right into the battle, see if we can win some games, and uh, wish me luck. Here we go. All right, we're actually fighting the same guy that we fought in the last video, but it's been over a day since I've recorded. So it looks like this guy's still at it. Uh, with the same triple beast team uh, Let's see how we can get let's see what we can do here. I uh, remember that team is actually really hard for my triple anomalous squad to beat uh, So let's just see if we can get something done with the uh, you know, the dazzling Dance team that we're using today So again the way this team wants to work is you want to pop the dazzling dance uh, And then it makes it so the rest of our pets are a lot faster. They're power power varieties Oh, like he switched back to the moon fire. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine um so Vengeance is going to hit super hard if I ever hit him, which I don't really know if I'm ever planning on hitting him. Like, I can go for a cower the turn after I hit him, I guess. So we're going for one of these. Decent damage. Finally get those three hits with those flurries. And did he actually Vengeance right there? No, that's just how much that freaking does. That's dumb. That's so much damage. But we have our Beast passive up right now. Now let's just go for some damage here. Still have seven rounds. That's a lot. Of, that's totally fine. I feel like losing this pet, but setting up for my pets in the back row to actually get their job done is correct. I just want to make sure I have, like, enough damage to make sure this works. 258, that is not it. Eh. Let's go with this. So, again, we do outspeed thanks to our Dazzling Dance buff. We have to actually high roll this. It's actually bad if we don't. Oh, we low rolled it. Oh, look how much damage we're taking. Ah, 643 for funsies. Um, that is the worst. We like almost low rolled as much as you could. I could have, I could have wasted my puppies at the flame, but I feel like it's such a waste. You know, that's such a waste. All right, so he has to have like, we have to go for the puppies of the flame here. The way this team likes to work is we want to use the dazzling dance to actually like make our pets outspeed their pets and then from there we have like really cool moves like retrieve like puppies of the flame and can, we can really put that sort of work into our opponents with this team so he's just wasting his attacks so he wasted his arcane dash it's a big cooldown and eventually he's gonna i think outspeed us no we will outspeed him by like two points still so that's actually really nice so we can actually go for a retrieve to just completely skip his turn so like we actually completely got like all this damage for free like for free and he will outspeed us with a pet here like this pet will outspeed how can we low roll any more than we actually are oh man this is gonna be hard there we go some decent damage here he'll get the ko here he has his beast passive up now let's see what we can actually get done oh my gosh was that a rake a devour oh my goodness that is so unfortunate that is so unfortunate because he had the moonlight too. So like that was actually really, really cool of him. He got like a full heal off that. Now let's see what we can do. The, the way this team wants to work is, or the way this pet works, I guess, is you go for this, lower their speed, and it makes so we can actually pop a dodge the correct way. 
And then we have a completely free turn to do the same thing again if we want. Oh, I went the wrong move anyways. But yeah, I think he's going to get us. Goes for the Call Darkness. Ow. I mean, we will be able to take this pet out. Maybe we'll be able to get something done. But it's going to still be super hard to grind out this pet. Because this has heals and stuff too. I guess the heals are, are nerfed. The fact is, he still outspeeds us. So we have to go for a leap here. Just don't kill me. Oh my gosh, he missed thanks to the Call Darkness. Yo, oh, we're, we're taking this all the way to the bank. We're going all the way to the bank because now we got dodges up. Like, now we have correct dodge use. Let's go. Blocking it up. Yes. I think you actually have to do this one. 258 versus... Yeah, 258. And then we outspeed for next turn. And then let's go. Um, we have to we have to get to, we have to hit double hits. One, two. Oh my gosh, we came back and won that one. Sanctum Cub busted. Yo, I feel bad for that guy because his team is super cool. He got like a full heal on that last turn of Moonlight uh, with that uh, feline as well. But this team's like really, really cool, I think. Remember, uh, we want to vop the Dazzling Dance, which gives our team a nice speed boost so we can go for Puppies of the Flame uh, and get the actual dodges faster than they can actually attack us so we get two turns worth of dodges uh, the puppies of flame deals damage we're able to then go for retreats to even skip their turns even further and then from there uh, we can come out with the sanctum cub sanctum cub gives himself a speed boost to let itself enable the dodge it's only a four round cooldown on this dodge as opposed to like the eight round cooldown on the puppies of the flame and then from there we just have like a ton of damage um i'm thinking if i might want to use pounce instead i, I think i i think i'm just gonna stick with the uh with the rend but like i do really like the leap dodge combo and i'm super surprised that we won that game. all right it's finally time to put this man out of his misery we're gonna give him the best of three we're going into game two he knows how the team works now but that doesn't mean that i can't just win let's see what he goes with same strat i think i'm actually just gonna pop the crouch first because i think he's gonna go with the moonfire and i'd rather just cut that damage straight from the start and that's probably how you should be playing Crouch this whole time. Because, <laughs> like, now I can go for, like, my Dazzling Dance in the last turn and give my pets an even, like, bigger boost from it. So, like, the longer I save my Dazzling Dance... Oh, never lucky. Only hit two turns. Never lucky. We're just maxing out that Crouch right now. I'm doing a lot of damage. We're going to proc his Beast passive here. Oh, man. We're actually just going to be able to KO him. Yo, we're just going to be able to KO this guy? That's so much better than the way I played it last round. Holy moly. Yo, how's it feel to be like a legendary spirit tiger and just get dumpstered by like a little fox, bro? Yeah, um, I can probably actually get away with like casting this crouch. 360. Has a 25% chance to stun and like I don't want to deal with that. So like I'm just going to fodder myself and pop the Dazzling Dance. Like Dazzling Dance is up. Pop your cooldown, chief. Yeah, go for it. That's all you. Um, and at this point, like I don't even really need to... Oh, I've been invited to join a guild while in a pet battle. What Mao? Um, I think I'm just going to come in with this guy. And I think I'm just going to save the cooldown on my puppies of the flame. Because his cooldowns are up. So, like, I'm just going to go for really, really big damage here. Uh, just kidding. That's the lowest roll, right? Uh, it's, 253 is my lowest roll. It's the lowest that we can go. We're actually just going to switch him out. And then we're going to pop up to the flame here. Alright, we still have seven rounds of speed boost. Is that stone skin? Oh, that's so good. I think he switched stone skin to fight me because that was Call Darkness last turn. That's so unfortunate. So I completely just like blew my turns. He's going to miss his turns as well. But like I completely just blew my dot. That really, really does suck. That's quite unfortunate. Stone skin is something you wouldn't normally see on that pet. That's fine. We're probably going to have to bite it. We'll see though. I want to see if he switches back into that pet because he's going to be uh, his big arcane dash is going to get cooldown just a moment. Let's go. 208. Oh man, that's so low roll. Can I can I play the game? I think I can, if I as long as I don't low roll this like 331's okay because he still has stone skin up. That means it's like a 400 hit. So I'll switch this guy out here. Probably should have done that like two turns ago. Let's go for this. 254. 254. Literally, the lowest roll is 253, and we 254'd him. That's better. But he's going to pop his big cooldown right on my 
during my Tiger Bros phase, and he popped a heal. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard to finish off. Um, Cause he's gonna hit us for like 600 something. 490. And he gets the stun, are you real? Are you real? He gets the stun and then the heal. Talk about never lucky. And he completely metagamed himself to like deal with me too. LC, uh, we'll pop the dodge here. I'm not gonna scoop just yet. I'm not gonna scoop just yet. Cause we can take this pet out and then finish it off with 258. Ah, oh, I gotta go for this. And then he's gonna outspeed me with that last pet. Cause we won't KO. We ha so we have to do it like this. And then like, I, I don't see a way that we get this. The only way we get this is if he can't KO us this turn. Which I think that's going to be highly improbable. Yeah, that just does three. I mean, he could have low rolled it. Like, I will roll all my moves. But I'm going to game three. I'm going to game three. Yo, I will not be denied. But I'm going to switch some moves up. What is this? 25%. Yeah, freaking give me that. I'll make you deal no damage. And we're going to game three. Alright, so it's not the same guy. But it is a triple Dragonkin team. Using the Emerald Proto Whelp, the Albino Chimera, and Lil Terk. Paragosa. Um, I think, again, you want to lead off with the Alpine Foxling. And, ooh, that's actually a pretty good lead for me. I wonder if they're actually going to go with, like, a liftoff or if they have, like, Deep Breath. If they have Deep Breath, we can just cower on that. Um, we should probably still just open up with a Deep Breath, I think. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm a Flurry. I'm just going to open up with a Flurry. We only get two hits, never lucky. So he's going for the Deep Breath. He's charging. He needs to charge in his laser. We'll go for the Crouch to heavily mitigate that. Oh! Crap, that thing's outspeeds me. It's a speed tie. Alright, that sucks. I'm so bad. Look how bad I am. I should have dazzled on that first turn, obviously. So now we get our speed boost. Pops Carl Darn is super weak. Proc after, uh, beast passive, though. Yeah, we're doing pretty bad in this one, I would say. I didn't think that thing was that fast. Usually you don't really see dragonkins that are that fast. It's not normal. I think the only other dragons that are that fast are, like, uh, the Nether Fairy Dragon and, like, Dragonhawks. Uh, if we high roll this, uh, I think we can almost... Oh, almost. That's fine, though. Uh, we will be able to take that guy out. And then I wonder if we should be just going for some damage. Or if we should be, like, reapplying a Dazzle. Because, like, these two are 244, 260. We already outspeed, so we don't actually need to Razzle Dazzle there. We can just go for a Flurry. Hopefully we hit. Survey says. Oh, big crits and the three hit, yo. And he whipped off. And, and you whipped off. Which means I can't really do anything. Which means I might as well just Razzle Dazzle. Let's go, Razzle Dazzle. So let's see, this thing is 244. We've seen, we don't really want to go for dodges. I actually think you just want to get that thing out of there. We don't want it to heal, because it wants to like Emerald Presence and like Ancestral Bustling. We just want to get it out. Uh, we just want to go for a Retrieve to get rid of it for a turn. And then we'll see how Little Terracosta can like, Little Terracosta is a lot more, it doesn't have like any heals or anything it can actually do. Um, it's just like big damage. So we'll just Puppies of the Flame to block all his bits damage. Like you can totally go for like Arcane Storms. Uh, you can do whatever he wants. I'll take these dots. I've actually thought that that was a really cool pet for a long time. Yeah, he'll, he'll go for it. It's a good uh, good attack to do because he hits the back row here. But, and he'll, he wants to like set the... Uh, he wants to go for Arcane Storm next. Um, but, you know, we're, we're just in a really, really good spot. Oh, he actually wasted his first turn of Arcane Storm. Yo, sucks the suck. Uh, we'll just go for an Obsidian Bite here. Big damage about to be coming out. Oh, that is good damage. And since he missed the Arcane Storm, um, I don't think it continues if they missed the first one. So I actually don't know if I will retrieve here. Let's think about this. His attacks are just like super bad. So like I actually don't need to retrieve. And we just want to save the retrieve if he like hard switches back out. I wish I had a little bit of AoE so I could effectively use retrieve a little bit better. The only way to correctly use retrieve here would be to like use it to skip a turn. He does he does actually switch out. Cool. Uh, that's fine. I will totally retrieve. It's just uh, to give me turns to get my cooldown back from Puppies of the Flame. And then we're back, back where we start. He can totally go for, like, the Arcane Storm here. I think we're still fine. Because he won't KO us. Yep. I just resets the weather. Get us a little bit more AoE damage. But we are going to be able to take it out. And then we have Puppies of the Flame to deal with. Oh, he's just going to fodder it. Yeah, we take those. The double fodder. Yo, the Blaze Hound coming in clutch from the back. And let's just take him out. Yeah, he scoops. And we take the win. And so, uh, yeah, I do really wish that, uh, you know, our third game was against that same Triple Beast guy. But, like, like I said, I play these games at different times. I only really log on once a day to play. And we, 
uh, played yesterday's game against that Triple Beast guy in the last game, and then I log in like 24 hours later, and it's the same guy. Ladder on the same team around the same time of day. Like, the dedication. I love to see those com uh, consistent people. And that guy played really well, so I really wish that I would have got my run back against him. But, yeah, uh, this team does super well. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying Shadowlands so far. I think the Golden Oldies, like the Alpine Fox, are still really nice. Uh, I'm very, I was very surprised with how well the Sanctum Cub did. Uh... Leap not having a cooldown means I can go for it every single turn to always gain that control of speed to go for dodges. It's actually really, really good. And it makes it so, like, obviously, like, Leap and Render, normally pretty weak attacks, but on a power, power variety pet, they make it so they hit pretty hard. And remember, the whole point is just fishing for dodges with this whole team. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know any pets or teams you want to see me use in future videos in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.